Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. A while ago I did a video on how to use the Reaper Digital Auto Workstation on the Raspberry Pi and also how to compile the Zenet SubFX Virtual Analog Synthesizer and use it on the Raspberry Pi as standalone. But today let's take a look on how to use them both together and uh, use that software synth as a VST plugin together with other VST plugins available on Raspberry Pi uh, to create a whole track. Here we go. And here's the gear we're going to use today. A Raspberry Pi 400, Model 4 will do as well. A Cognano control, an audio interface, link is in this video's description. A MIDI keyboard and an audio recorder standing in as a USB microphone. Let's wire this all up and then let's go. So, VST plugins on the Raspberry Pi, one of the most asked questions on this channel, by the way. The first thing you need to know is you can't just copy uh, your DLL files from your Windows PC to the Raspberry Pi and expect them to work. They won't because um, both machines use different CPU architectures. So the Intel instruction set is different from that one of the ARM chip uh, used in your Raspberry Pi. So if you copy those programs there, the CPU won't know what to do with them, okay? So the solution to this is you need to download VST plugins specifically compiled for your Raspberry Pi. And there are some sites on the internet where you can do that. I'll show them to you now. And there are also some pages where you can download source code that you can compile yourself. And if you want to know how to do that, please take a look at my previous video on this subject. So yeah, now let's download these plugins and then we'll continue with copying them to the correct directory on your machine. Okay, so the easiest way to get some native VST plugins for your Pi is this GitHub page maintained by the Synthion project. The link is on screen right now. Just press the green code button and download the zip file. Once that is done, unzip that archive. If you want to, you can also move all the folders to common directory by typing sudo mv asterisk slash user slash local slash lib. Once that is done, open your DAW, shown here Reaper, and add that folder to the plugin directories. Then rescan and voila, lots of VST plugins for you to use. One program that needs to be mentioned here is named Carla. This is a plugin host which can run standalone or as a plugin and acts as a wrapper for all the different plugin formats found in Linux like LV2, DSSI, LMMS and VST. Just load this as a VST plugin into your digital audio workstation and then you can load any other plugin you desire, regardless of its format. Remember how I said you can't run Windows plugins on your Linux Raspberry Pi? Well, it's not completely true. There is an emulator for x86 CPUs and an emulation layer for the Windows API you can run on your Raspberry Pi. And both of them enable you to launch a VST plugin host for Windows 32-bit uh, and load Windows 32-bit plugins into this and use them. And here's how to do that. This project is called Box86, their address is on the screen right now and also in this video's description. Download the source code from the web page and unzip the archive. Then open the terminal window and follow their instruction on the web page are linked in this video's description. This will compile and install the x86 emulator and afterwards follow the instructions on installing Wine, the Windows API layer for Linux. Both installs are pretty straightforward and didn't cause any errors for me. When that is done, you can download a VST host software and I found Nanohost works without problems here and any 32-bit VST plugin. Then, in a terminal, change directory to your download folder and enter wine nanohost 32exe then select your desired plugin DLL file and there you go. You can now set up NanoHost so it knows about your MIDI and audio devices. Okay, so finally our system is set up. Now let's create a track. I'll uh, use um, the Zinat SubEffects uh, virtual analog synth uh, in Reaper 
and I'll show you how to set it up so it can uh, use multiple tracks uh, using only one instance of that synth. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Here we go. Okay, I've got my Elsa to MIDI bridge running and now I can start uh, Reaper. So let's go here. Okay, and the first thing we want to do, we want to insert a new virtual instrument on the track, so let's do that. Then go to VSTI here, and um, we are going to use Zenit sub effects. So that's this one, double click this. All right, and now, um, yeah, let's choose a piano patch. Perhaps uh, this one, let's listen. Oh. Okay, let's use this one and um, now let's close this window and um, tempo will be 100 beats per minute and now let's just um, record this. Oh, I'm going to set up my metronome and say it's going to be enabled, uh, only running during recording. Let's have a count in of two bars. All right, so should be okay. Let's go. Okay, so now I've copied and edited the um, pattern and we've got this. Okay, now we want to add a bass track, or I want to add a bass track, so let's go to uh, the effects page once again, and then we'll have the synod sub effects um, synthesizer once again, and let's go to the second part, and let's select a bass patch here, so in the directory of sounds, let's choose the bass number 5, and um, yeah, let's go to the mixer, uh, which is here, and now let's turn this on, otherwise you won't hear a thing. Alright, so let's go back to the part settings uh, of the browser. And what we want to do now is um, we move all this stuff down into a new lane. And um, now we'll change the MIDI channel on our keyboard. So now it's on 2. So here's the bass. Alright. And um, yeah, then what you also want to do is on this channel, which I call Electric Piano, um, you want to set up a send. Uh, to the synod sub effects. So this channel now will receive the MIDI data from this channel. If I play it back, we should hear the piano. All right, but now we can also record our bass uh, on this um, yeah, on this new uh, track over here. And I'm going to use the step sequencer. So insert a new MIDI item here. Alright, so now let's go here and uh, before we start the step sequencer um, let's check if the octave we've chosen on the keyboard is correct and yeah, we begin with on D. Alright, and yeah, I want um, eighth notes and now Let's turn this on. Okay, uh, yeah, let's let's go. Okay, uh, yeah, we've got the bass, 
And uh, now let's add a drum. I'll just add a bass drum here. And um, yeah, let's go back to our synth sub effects. Then go to channel 3. We'll choose the drum set here. We've got only this kit. Okay. <clears throat> So now we're going to add um, a send on, on channel 3. So let's send this here. And uh, yeah, let's change the channel on the keyboard to 3. Yeah, that doesn't sound too hot, but I'll go with that. And um, yeah, we'll just manually record this and so change the channel and here we go on the keyboard and uh, looks good to me. Now, yeah. Um, last thing, let's add a lead. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to insert a new plugin now and um, I'll use the noise maker. Here it is. Let's choose a lead sound. So now this is really annoying on Linux the user interface. You have, don't have a scroll bar in such menus, so um, finding a thing in a long list is really annoying. This is horrible. And now, <laughs> once again, I can't believe um, such a thing exists in 2021. Absolutely annoying. Okay, some minutes later now, and I decided to create my own damn lead patch in uh, <laughs> Noise Maker because uh, I can't deal with this. <laughs> so now, um, yeah, let's uh, oh, um, improvise something. Here we go. Uh, I'll just uh, set up a loop here on uh, nine bars of music, and uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, and that's it for today. A Reaper on the Raspberry Pi using VST plugins to create a whole track. This went far better than I expected. And as always, oh wait, there's a message from management coming in and it says, oh, Mary from London and Andrew from New York and Bob from New Jersey and Marcel from Lyon. 
You downloaded my sample pack last week without subscribing to my channel. Hmm. I'm mildly disappointed. So please go ahead and rectify that mistake, okay, Bob and to myself? So, and to all others, thanks for watching and if you found this useful and uh, liked it, please consider subscribing to my channel and as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.